Hello, this is Jake from the Corona team and this is the Corona Multimap. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Multimap to avoid repetition by varying the colors and opacity of each tree and leaf, all from a single material. We'll start by adding random hues to change the season, and then we'll move on to individual elements within each tree. We'll use the opacity feature to control the distribution of leaves, and then I'll show you how to add fallen leaves to the ground. We currently have two trees with one leaf material scattered across our island. And whilst this looks okay, it can feel a bit repetitive, and this is where the multi-map can help. The material is made up of a bitmap with a single color correction, and we can create a multi-map by right-clicking Maps, Corona, Corona Multi-Map. And let's plug that into our base. And the multi-map can take a single map or color and randomize its hue, saturation, and gamma, and then distribute it based on different modes. So let's run an interactive render. And notice that instance is on by default. And this means it will randomize by each object or instance. And we can see that in action in our frame buffer. There are plenty of modes we can use and we'll go over some more shortly. We can plug multiple textures into a multi-map, but in our case, we only have one leaf. So let's change our item count to one. The hue will randomize the hue of our input. So when it's on zero, nothing will change. And if it's set to 100%, the output will use the maximum possible hue randomization. Now, if we plug in our texture, each tree will have a random hue between zero and 100, which is the whole color range possible. And this can be a bit much, so let's set it to something more subtle at around 40%. And this will give us hues within 40% away from our original color. Before we look at controlling the number of leaves each tree has, what if we want to randomize the color of individual leaves? Let's add a new multi-map. And change the item count to one, as we'll input our previous multi-map. We can plug that into our base and run another interactive render. Let's change our hue to 20%. And as with the hue, the saturation specifies the maximum distance from the current saturation. So it'd be wise to keep these values low also. The gamma will also add randomization, zero being 0% away from the original and 100% the maximum. And as with the saturation, let's keep these values low. And this time we can check mesh element and notice that each leaf element within the tree's mesh becomes its own color. And now rather than having the color red driving the leaf color, let's plug it into our multi-map from earlier. And now each leaf has its own randomization. So we can use this to add further randomization. We can also use the multi-map to randomize the opacity of the leaves. And you can see we have an opacity map already plugged in. So let's create a multi-map. And this time we want two items. and let's make them white. And black. And black will not show and white will. So we want to plug in our original opacity map into the white. And I'll plug our opacity map into the opacity color and run an interactive render. Now we can see that half of the trees have leaves and half don't. This is because we have instance on. So let's put that onto mesh element. And then to control how many leaves are on a tree, we can use the frequency. And right now the frequency is on one and one. And this means the frequency of black and white will be a 50-50 split. The lower the number, the lower that color will be used. So if we put the white onto point one, we can see that there's a lot less leaves on the tree. And now this is a bit sparse, so let's turn it up a bit. And now we have leaves falling from the trees. So if we want to add leaves under our trees, we can use scatter. The needles are quite hard to see, so I'm gonna demo on a tree with bigger leaves. I pulled a few leaves off of the tree and added them to the scatter. They're distributed onto this plane and I've used a circle as a spline area include. And then we can just scale this circle. Find out more about adding fall off areas in scatter in this video and animate your own time lapses by watching this video.